Everybody. My name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. Thank you for being here. It's a great pleasure to be with you this morning. This is really, uh, today was like, I need to do a live stream today because tomorrow is too busy. I've got too much stuff going on. So this is, well, you did, probably didn't expect it, but we're going to talk about E major chords and let's get right into it. So here's an E major chord. Whoa, okay, let's check our tuning. That's not going to work. I changed my strings, uh, when was that, yesterday? There we go. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. There we go. E major chord. This is the chord you're going to find. People always look at this. Oh, look at that E major chord. Okay, that's how we do it. Hello, Albert. Good to see you. There we go, E major. Now we're going to talk about positioning in just a minute, but let's go through some of these chords. <clears throat> now if you go from E major, you pick up your first finger, you've got an E minor chord. The difference between a major and a minor chord is a G sharp. There's a G sharp. you got an E, G sharp, B. When you lower that G sharp to a G, you've got a... Uh, oops. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. You've got a minor chord, so drop that G sharp down to a G. You've got your minor. Okay, let's go to the next one. E7. Now if we go back to the E chord, lift our third finger, our ring finger. We've got our 7 because that D note right there, that's the one, that's the one that makes the 7. E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we are, seven. That's what the. Sometimes you can put it up here. Right? Get this seven on top. Makes it a lot more blatant. But anyway, let's go on to the E minor seven. From the E, you pick up your first finger, you pick up your third finger, and you got this really subtle E minor seven. The minor comes from the G sharp, the seven comes from the D that we're playing. And when you play it like that, or you do a bar chord, right, like E minor 7, I love it when the 7 is in the middle like that. And you get this clash right there. It's not too heavy. You can put it on the top, of course. You could put E minor 7 like this, right there, if you want it to stick out more. But if you want it to be subtle, it's inside like that. Very fun. Okay, E minor 7. Let's go to E7 sus4. E7 sus4. I love this chord. You know, uh, the E7 chord, when we did a little, a little while ago, this one right here, if you take this note and you raise it, the G sharp, you raise it up to the A, you get that E7 sus4. Like that. I love that because it relaxes into that E7. So nice. Like that. Okay, let's go on to another one. E. Oh, you know, this is a... Here's an E chord. If you just pluck, let's say, the low E string and then these three right here, sometimes I'll show uh, different uh, students how to do this. I mean, you could go like this. Right, and skip over those those two notes on the A string and the D string. You could actually, what I'm doing now is I'm putting my finger right there. I'm just touching those strings so they don't play. Right, it gives you a low E, and then these three notes on the top. It's very nice. Here we go. It's another way to play E, or you could play it just like this. Of course, your G sharp will be on the bottom, so it's going to be what we call a an inversion. 